Hello, doctors. Welcome back uh, once again for one more microbiology session. This time it is uh, our, you know, we are, we, we are going to recall all the questions uh, in this uh, recent INSA May 2024. So to say the truth, the exam was really easy from microbiological point of view. You know, it was easy. You can say 22 questions were asked from micro, 18 directly from micro, and other four all from PSM and Pharma, okay? But sort of mixed. So it's 22 is a very good amount of question. And if you check the level, INICT questions were almost equal to your FMG questions or the NEET PG questions. So every FMG NEET PG students, if they've attempted this paper, and at least I can guarantee from my videos what a previous video have done, if they have read ones, definitely they would have scored it because again, again, I'm repeating, I made microbiology such an easy manner that you don't have to use your brain. You just have to go like, you know, you've seen some comedy show. That's that's what you're going to remember micro very easily and score easily. And other subjects, you keep other 18 subjects for your hardworking or whatever. In micro, I don't want to take it as a burden. I want it to be just in your pocket. Okay. It's a very easy subject. Again, don't worry if you have made mistake in this exam and the need PG is coming there. You know whatever, you know, how I'm teaching. I'm going to make no more sessions, new session in where you're going to short and sweetly would revise everything in within three hours, whole micro will be revised. So you're going to shine and you're going to rock for sure. Okay, so now let's start with and for FMG students also. Again, I'm repeating, it's going to be very easy. So now it's better you concentrate. All these 22 questions are important. Nothing is like not expected. These are all expected questions and that's what they have asked. Nothing out of syllabus or whatever. One or two a little bit confusing, doesn't matter. But, you know, I'm uh, glad that you guys did well. So now let's start from here. First question. Uh, see this question, a female patient presented with the Bartholin abscess, okay, Bartholin abscess, vaginal discharge, I don't know if it was a vaginal discharge or genital discharge or uh, whatever, and pelvic inflammatory disease. This is the first step, it's a clinical part. And then the discharge on gram staining showed intracellular, intracellular gram negative diplococci, intracellular gram negative diplococci. So now, based on the clinical feature, let's go in order. When you talk about this pelvic inflammatory disease, bathroom, abscess and all, okay, and discharge is there. So if you think like that, any genital discharge, if you talk about genital discharge, especially when I'm talking about the cervical discharge, these are the cervical discharge, cervical discharge, the bacteria which is coming to your mind is always gonococcus, nasaria gonorrhea or gonococcus, right? Gonococcus. The other name is also called as nasaria gonorrhea. They are same. Other name, okay? Nasaria gonorrhea. And next, followed by the gonococcus is your chlamydia. Chlamydia, okay? And if you remember, and apart from that, ureoplasm microbes are a rare organism and vaginal discharge may take this trichomonas vaginal candidiasis, they cause vaginal discharge. We are not interested in that, okay? And now what happened? Complication. Complication of this, a gonococcus chlamydia, if you remember, one of the most common complication is your PID, pendric inflammatory diseases. And what we can perineum and gonococcus also. And then we have this future Curtis syndrome. I'm not going to touch those things here, okay? So these are the common. So when you talk about genital discharge, in your mind automatically comes gonococcus and chlamydia only. So now here what we have, trichomonas vaginalis out because this causes vaginal discharge, not this one, okay? So out. Chancroids caused by H. Ducre. And H. Ducre may do we have any, uh, Ducre may do we have any discharge? No. There it is ulcer. It's a genital ulcer disease. So that is out. So only fight is between nasal gonorrhea and chlamydia. And now they have seen, we are on a gram stain, on a gram stain, this gra it shows gram negative diplococci. See, I told, if you remember, gram positive may only McDonald's. Yeah, shortcut is McDonald's. We'll revise in bacteriology detail. You can see my videos also. Except McDonald's, all the McDonald's are positive. Positive to go to McDonald's. So gram positive. Rest all are gram negative. In the diplococci, if you see gram negative, there is only two things diplococci. Either one is nasaria gonorrhea and other one is nasaria meningitis. Nasaria meningitis. Meningitis causes meningitis. So it's got no meaning. So only left out option is gonococcus. So your answer is nasaria gonorrhea. Okay, very easy question. But chlamydia, why not? Chlamydia, first of all, it's not a diploc, okay? And moreover, chlamydia, you can't stain with a gram stain. It's difficult to stain because, you know, the cell wall structure is different from the regular uh, bacteria. Okay? Same with mycoplasma also. If you remember, mycoplasma and chlamydia are the two bacteria where you can't do normal gram stain. It will not work. Okay? So, out. That is out, totally out. So, only option here you have is nasalia gonorrhea and that's the right answer. Next time in the exam, they might give you this picture and tell you uh, the same clinical picture. What are they going to tell you to identify it? Same like this. You see intracellular. So, this is a urethral discharge in the 
Lipid tissue and gram stain. You see inside the PMN cells, you can see all this diplococci. Diplococci where kidney bean shaped appearance. Kidney bean shaped, okay? Kidney bean shaped appearance. So click this, yeah, like this. So like this, diplococci. So is kabi yaad nahi to, ye isko C ko essay kar do G. Go no caucus. Go no caucus. Bas. Very, very simple. This is the question. So if you made nasal reconnoir, you made one question very uh, correct, okay? Now next question. Now, now next question. Again related to the previous topic only, which of the following organisms shows increased uh, resistance to antibiotic? That means antibiotic resistance jada kiska. It is somewhat farmer related, but of course it's micro related also. So these days, resistance to which better is increased. So uh, the answer is what gonorrhea you know. But before going to gonorrhea, how to rule out other things? For chlamydia, for chlamydia and donor venosis, you know still. Acetro and doxycycline is still working. Acetro or doxycycline is still working. Doxycycline is still working. Thank God. Thank God. We are safe. So we don't go. Uh, don't want to see chlamydia. No problem. Don't want to see. You know, it's caused by Klebsiella granulomatosis. Okay, that one. That is uh, causing the uh, BP ulcer. Chlamydia again another cause of discharge. Syphilis ka, thank God our benzathene penicillin is still working. Penicillin G injection is still working. It's miracle. It's really miracle. Among STD, this is one disease still, you know, safe. the penicillin works very well for the patients. Okay, so fine. So which is the problematic now? Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea because of abuse of drugs. What happened? Now, all the drugs, the drugs which is resistant to many drugs, even common drugs like resistant to penicillin, resistant to sulfonamide, sare drugs pehle achcha kaam kar sulfonamide so overuse misuse because this is the most common if you remember gonorrhea is the most common cause of your cervical discharge any genital discharge okay uh, in std may so now what happened now the treatment of choice or drug of choice for your gonorrhea is you know ceftriaxone ceftri axone ceftriaxone third generation cephalosporin ceftriaxone or Cephotaxin, ceftriaxone or cephotaxin, okay? So that's it. These are the two things we have. Always remember when STD, when a patient come to STD with gonorrhea, take the axe and cut the, cut the, not the genital organ, cut the gonococcus. So use the axe to cut the dangerous gonococcus. That's what I remember and I'll tell my students to remember like that. Axe to cut the gonococcus, okay? Don't forget. So this one important question. Uh, that's what they ask. So increasing these days, resistant to antibodies very high with gonorrhea. Okay, finished. Next question. Now, again, STD, almost three questions related to STD this time, you know. So now what the student told me was that there was another question with patient, the mother, she had a painful genital lesion for a, uh, before a year. She had a painful genital lesion for a year. And then that was the mother, you know? Then the child, her child developed at 18, after birth, at 18 day child, developed the CNS symptom. Kernick sign was positive, something like that. That means what? Meningitis. That means the child had what? Meningitis. Okay. So first one, the mother's story. First ka mother's story. So mother ka painful genital lesion means itself aapka ana chahiye. That is genital ulcer. They're talking about the genital painful genital ulcer. Painful genital ulcer may you have only which are the diseases which is commonly causing very painful herpes simplex virus. Okay. Herpes simplex, especially HSV2 and other one is your H. Dukri. Do you see RUA? They are the most two painful, most common painful genital ulcer diseases. Egg child. Another side, CNS symptom to the child. The child got CNS symptom means the child had the meningitis. This child had meningitis, symptoms of meningitis. Plus, usme kya they, were? they showed a multinucleated giant cell. That means they did uh, like this. This one. So look at this picture. This picture, this picture was not given. I'm just bringing here. This is this is the multinucleated, this is sang smear. They, you call it Sang smear. Sang smear is different type of making a smear. That means you remove the vesicles, upper wall vesicle, remove karke. Base of the lesion, say you, you scrap and take the, make a slide. Slide and what you do, you do gymsa staining. Gymsa staining karne ke baad, if you're getting this cells, see, the multinucleated giant cells, okay, MNGC, that's called MNGC, multinucleated giant cells, if you see, that is classic for, which one? Classic for Classic for two important diseases at least. One is your herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. And other one is your varicella zoster or herpes zoster virus. Even measles also has, but classic for these two. Okay. HSV 1 and 2 and herpes, both herpes viruses only. Okay. So remember. So here you have two things. One is meningitis and other one is your, other one is your uh, meningitis plus M and GC cell, multinucleated giant cell. So when gentle painful ulcer, HSV ho gaya. 
And now when you talk about multinucleated giant cell, so definitely that means what the child must have got this infection from, okay? The child must have got the infection from the mother. So which infection was that? How to rule it out? Dukri, Neya. Because in Dukri, uh, it will not transmit to the child and child will have multinuclear giant cell. Nahi hota hai. So cut it out. So the only possibility is HSV2 or varicose zoster. Cox ke bhi nahi. Usme multinuclear giant cell nahi aata hai. And it's not, doesn't cause a painful genital lesion. Out. So these two, HSV2 and is varicose zoster. Varicose zoster means you don't have genital lesion. You have what? Unilateral, sometimes if it depends. Primary means you talk about chicken pox. Then you have pleomorphic lesions. Pleomorphic lesions around the abdomen. Okay, around the abdomen, arm space mein hota hai. Not in the genital region. So that itself is out. Okay, here it's clearly given painful genital lesion. So when you talk about painful genital lesion, the option is short, herpes simplex virus 2. In fact, this one, they usually call it as what meningitis do next time you can get in your exam. This meningitis, if it is recurrent, we also call it as molarex meningitis. Molarex meningitis. Okay, recurrent meningitis is the most common causes. This only. But don't forget the most common cause of meningitis, which virus? Adenovirus. The overall most common cause of the meningitis, viral meningitis ka answer is adenovirus. Adenovirus. But recurrent meningitis ka, it is the HSV2, also called molarex meningitis, classic multinuclear giant cell, you will see, like so in the picture, and it comes from the mother. Okay, that's all. Very simple. Now, next question. Now, again, uh, another question, interesting question. Which of the following organism, vaccine, they have given vaccine, which is not made of, not made from the polycellular fraction, poly, or they, I think they have asked, which of the following organism, uh, vaccine is not made from the polysaccharide capsule, or which is not a polysaccharide vaccine, okay, very simple, so is go, how to remember this one, see, uh, vaccine, vaccine is one thing, this is more a PSM question, but of course, relate, very related to microbiology, polysaccharide means capsule, first of all, I'll give you one clue, you, you remember uh, the polysaccharide capsule, ka, any capsule, for capsule, may you know the shortcut, right, what is the shortcut you'll be? What is the how do you remember? Some some pretty bacteria, some pretty bacteria has nice capsule. Some pretty bacteria has nice capsule. Okay. Uh, it, it start with yes. Okay, yes, some bacteria. So yes for Ersenia. Yes for Ersenia. And yeah, why for sorry, why for Ersenia and yes for which one you can tell the lot of S bacteria, uh, yes, with the uh, capsule. Ka. So we'll come to that. And then for P4, you know, it is the pneumococcus. Pneumococcus, uh, sorry, here I will go like this for new P pneumococcus, right? You can write pseudomonas is better. You keep it pseudomonas. Pseudomonas actually slime layer doesn't matter. For yes, you remember as streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia. Okay, it's easy. P will come here or here. Doesn't matter. It's up to you all. You have to make a clue. And B for what? Bacillus anthrax. Bacillus anthrax. And H for H influenza. H influenza. Influency. N for Neisseria. Neisseria meningitis. Neisseria meningitis. And capsule, you know, that is only one fungus that is cryptococcus. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. So now you see which are the options. And this, you know, all are polycyclic except one, except Bacillus anthrax. Bacillus anthrax is not a polycyclic, it is a polypeptide. Okay. A polypeptide. Uh, polypeptide. This, this question was repeated many times. Uh, a for A. Polypeptide means amino acid. So it's easy to remember. Okay. Easy. Rest all are polycyclic capsule only. Now let's go ahead and check. So, what are possibilities here? Capsule letter hai toh, koi capsule of course, when you talk about a virus, we never, talk, one more clue is, when you talk about a capsule, we talk about bacteria only, not the virus. From that itself, we can rule out what? Your HBV, hepatitis B virus. This is a virus. Virus mein capsule nahi hota hai, right? Okay. Now, even if you forget this one, the other clue is a shortcut. Yes, some pretty bacteria have nice capsule. Okay. So, is mein kya kya aage deko? Step pneumonia has come. Your H influency has come. Nasiria meningitis come. So they all are made up of polysaccharide capsule. Your answer is hepatitis B virus. Very simple question. And suppose if they ask you hepatitis B virus, which vaccine It is what? Subunit vaccine. We have a different type of vaccine called subunit vaccine. Got it? Subunit vaccine. Subunit vaccine may not only HPV, even HPV also have uh, human papilloma virus. So HPV, they come under subunit vaccine. And of course, your toxoid. Toxoid be some in previous exam, toxoid versus toxoid is kuchni. DT and TT are the toxoid. They made from the toxoid compound. And we have live vaccine and the K 
killed vaccine, live vaccine and killed vaccine. Live vaccine may, you know, there are a lot of examples for live vaccine, B or BCG, your MMR, your rotavirus was also asked this, if you remember rotavirus vaccine, your uh, Japanese encephalitis vaccine, and uh, what else you can, chickenpox vaccine, this all are live vaccine. Killed vaccine ko, I would simply say RIP, R-I-P, RIP always. If koibri you put rip, no, rest in peace. So R R for your rabies, I for your influenza, P for your which one? P for P. There are so many vaccines, but you can put polio ka salk vaccine. Okay, salk. Because sabin to live as salk ho gaya. A for hepatitis A virus. Hepatitis A virus live may be at but mostly it comes in killed only. Okay. These are examples for this vaccine. So next time if they ask you, easily you can. Give one answer and you'll be fine. Okay. So this is not a tough question. So I'm sure you're going to say that yes, that's an easy question. I'll be happy to hear that word. Okay. Yes. Good. Next one. Now, next one, look at this picture. Oh, when you saw this picture, you know, I was like, definitely these are these questions, like, you know, you guys like you should be happy when you saw this question. You guys must be jumping up and down because there was not a single exam that was uh, without this picture. So what is the question was which of the following is correct regarding the organism? First, your picture they kept kyana chiye. There is a organism <coughs> like this okay budding yeast cell and then you see there is a capsule you know so this is what this is a this is an indian ink this is an indian ink india ink india ink that is a uh, it, it is what in dark that is like a what you in india it makes a negative stain india can negative stain in negative stain may what you, you can see the capsule very clearly so this is round color it's not bacteria it's not but yoga so this is big one so this is only capsulated Fungi. Which fungi is that? Only capsulated cryptococcus. Cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans. Neoformans, the most common one. Okay. If you remember this one, which is the what you're going to answer now? Which is the what in HIV patient? Which is the most what is it causes mostly? It is the most common cause of meningitis in immunocompromised patient. Meningitis in immunocompromised patient. This too, you know. Everybody knows. You you buy your first year MBBS, so you must be knowing this cryptococcus neoformans MNC. Cryptococcus neoformis comes from which one? Comes from the beautiful PG. It's the balcony, but open, don't open your balcony. We say for this because of pigeon. Pigeon dropping say. Pigeon dropping say you will be getting your inhalation. First inhalation, it goes inside. And then you get what? First it affects your lung. You know, first it go and affects your lung, primary of lung. And from there, it spreads to all over your body. It spreads to where? It spreads to your brain, heart, kidney, everywhere. It goes everywhere. Okay. CNS, I'm going right here. So this is the short story, right? Right. And let's go, you know how to stain Indian ink and uh, bird seed agar, bird, eh? bird seed agar, or, you know, there are so many other uh, 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 niger seed, bird seed agar medium, it grows. Okay, fine. Now, look at this one. They said, which of the following is correct? Yes, correct. Human is the only reservoir? No, not at all. Look at this beautiful pigeon I have drawn here. That means pigeon is there. So this is absolutely wrong. So pigeon is the reservoir. Pigeon also a reservoir. Okay, fine. Now budding yeast cell with pseudo hyphae. Budding yeast cell is right. Perfectly. Of course, they are budding yeast cell. What about pseudo hyphae? Do they have pseudo hyphae? No. Why? Pseudo hyphae, like this budding yeast cell with pseudo hyphae, it is characteristic of which one? Candida. Candida kelly is classic. Not for your, not for your cryptococcus neoformis. Okay, so we'll be out of here. Primarily affect respiratory skeleton. I'm saying pigeon ka first drop kaha jata hai? Apka lung mein inhalation mein goes to the lung first. And from there it goes to the blood and affect all part of your body. That's what you're getting meningitis. Okay, that in HIV patient the most common cause of meningitis is this one. Okay, so primarily affect respiratory system. That is the right answer. Correct answer. Correct answer. And I told you it is common in the HIV patient. Definitely yes. But CD 900, not at all. CD less than 200 may ajata hai, right? Less than 200 may it comes. Most of them come less than 200. Toxoplasmosis comes less than 100. And cytomegalo CMB and the um, uh, microbiotrum avium interstitial complex comes under less than 50 may. When CD comes less than 50. These are all the revision questions. You will get it in my revision classes when you go in there. I'm going to revise everything. Don't worry. But now, excuse me, sorry. So this is the thing. So the answer should be primarily affect the respiratory system. So I'm sure you made this question correct. Even if you not, it doesn't matter. It's big topic, but this is whatever I told the point. This is, will be repeated again on your next exams also. Okay. I'm I'm sure I can uh, affirm you, confirm you by seeing the previous patterns. Okay. Yes. Now next one. 
Uh, I don't know, Holy, some people told me, very few students said, uh, if this question has come or not, I'm not sure. Uh, streptococcus agalactate causes. Uh, I mean, they said from previous, what I don't know. But okay, I thought, okay, not, not to be missed anything, it will be like a revision only. So if the streptococcus agalactate causes which disease? You know that streptococcus agalactate is basically group Group B, streptococcus. I have a big clue for that. I always say that, remember the, which, what did, how do I say? Agarthala, this is a group. Yeah, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. This is group, this is group B. Okay. I always say, Agarthala boys. Agarthala boys. Uska naam, Agarthala boy. Agarthala boy. Eki boy hai. Uska naam hai Islam. Islam. Uh, he goes where? He goes camping. He goes camping with his wife ka naam hai Orange. Uska wife ka naam hai Orange. Orange wife, huh? Orange wife. Waan par usko kya ho gaya? Wife ko, even he had uh, camp mein chake, but they were watching what? Hippo. Hippopotamus. They were taking hippopotamus camping karke. Koi forest mein they were looking for hippocampus. Okay. Hippo, hippopotamus. Hippo. Potamus, hippopotamus dekhta hai. And then what happened? Suddenly the wife was getting what? Wife got some vaginal uh, vaginal issue, some vaginal discharge, vaginal, uh, not discharge, some vaginal issue. And then what happened? There she got this group B streptococcus that spread to when pregnancy, she was pregnant now. So then what happened? Usko bache ko kya ho gaya? Go, bache got, the newborn got meningitis. Neonate, her neonate got meningitis and sepsis. And it became very serious. Sir, what is this kahani? Very simple kahani. You will be confused. That's what I'm giving this clue. Agartala is agalactiae. Okay, agalactiae. Streptococcus agalactiae. Iska dusra naam hai. Group B streptococcus. Group B streptococcus. Because group A is streptococcus pyogens. Gas bolte hai. So confuse mat karna. That's what I give. Agalactiae or agartala boy. Yeah, agartala boy. Islam. B for boy. Islam is basically Islam media. Islam media is the specific media. Usi media ka color koon se orange color pigment produce karta hai. The classic two important tests for your, your, okay, your uh, group B streptococcus group. I'm sorry. Once again, I'm going there. Group B streptococcus ka classic uh, test or camp test. Other one is Hippurate hydrolysis. Camp and hippurate. Hippopotamus is name aita because these two questions are also asked. Next time you can expect this. Camp test and hippurate test is classically, classically, classical for which one? Your ag agalactiae. Group, group B agalactiae. Okay. And streptococcus. And then, uh, and then uh, vaginal because group B streptococcus can't grow to the female vaginal tract. Mein hota hai, okay. It is remain there. And in child, mein, there are two important diseases. Ek to meningitis, neonatal meningitis, one of the most common cause apart from E. coli and your listeria and H. influency. Other one is meningitis, it causes sepsis. So, yaan par teklo, option me, you got neonatal sepsis. So, neonatal sepsis is the right answer. Okay. Dental caries is caused by streptococcus viridens group, salivarius, etc., etc., viridens. Infant is caused by anything. Infant is also caused by streptococcus viridens, staphylococcus. Is me both sare aata hai. Tonsoracus pharyngitis is caused by group, group, yes, yeah, streptococcus. That is your streptococcus pyogenes. Pyogenes. Okay, how yeah. So I don't know why this could, some people only said not everybody, only one or two students said that they confused. So what I don't know. If this question comes, this is the answer. Very simple. Remember Agartala boy for group is streptococcus and group is streptococcus ka alag kahani hai. That will be revised in your neat PG FMG in another one or two weeks. Mein. Very easy. I'll make it very easy for you guys. Okay, that's all. Next, look at this beautiful question. In this question, <coughs> excuse me. Now look at this question here. Uh, single standard RNA, uh, these are different viruses were given and they told to choose you. So how to choose? So virus, whenever you're talking about the bacteria, you classify it into how? When you talk about bacteria, you classify it into gram positive and gram negative. And gram positive, positive people go to kaha jata McDonald's ho gaya. When you talk about the viruses, you, you classify, excuse me, I'm sorry. When you classify, uh, I'm just going to fix this thing. Okay, now, sorry, uh, now when you talk about the viruses, when you talk about the viruses, you are going to classify it into what? DNA viruses and RNA viruses. DNA and RNA viruses. Okay, DNA and RNA viruses. DNA virus ka shortcut everybody must be knowing. Please don't say that you don't know. Okay, you know already. So what is the DNA virus? Ka? What are the organisms for DNA viruses? Happy. The shortcut is happy. H-A-P-I. 
पी देर इज टू हेच एक्चुअली हेच ए पी पी वाई वाई तो कुछ नहीं है सो वॉट फॉर हेच हेच फॉर हेच फॉर हेरपिस वायरस हेच फॉर हेरपिस एंड हेच फॉर हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस ए फॉर अडिनो वायरस यू नो एंड पी फॉर Papilloma, papilloma, and another P for parvo, and another P for pox virus. So yeah, pox virus. These are the viruses. Rest poor, up ka RNA virus. Okay, rest poor RNA virus. Another important thing: all the DNA viruses are double standard DNA viruses, and all the RNA viruses are single standard RNA viruses. ये तो बेसिक है यू नो दैट ओके सो बैक्टीरिया में ग्राम पॉजिटिव पीपल गो टू मैकडोनल्ड दे गो टू मैकडोनल्ड मैकडोनल्ड ये डीएनए वायरसेस में डोनल्ड्स ओके डीएनए एलडीएस डोनल्ड्स एंड डीएनए वायरसेस में यू हैव हैप्पी डीएनए वायरसेस एंड आरएनए का रेस्ट ऑफ द वायरसेस सो देयर इज एक्सेप्शन फॉर दिस सो व्हाट इज दैट एक्सेप्शन दे मोस्टली एज वी सेड मोस्टली इट इज मोस्टली इट इज डबल स्टैंडर्ड बट देयर इज सिंगल स्टैंड हु सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आवर Choti Paru, this Paru, you remember, right? Paru from the Devdas. That is the name you are going to remember. This is the only single standard. She is always single. Paru is single, so single standard DNA virus. Single Choti, सबसे छोटी है, smallest virus है. That's what the single Choti virus. And the other कहानी, you know, she. A question भी आता है. We'll talk about that question. But अभी तक रिम्बो small and small and single. Okay, single is Paru virus. हो गया. RNA में everything is single. But what are the exceptions? Exceptions are see double standard. डबल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए वायरस का एक्सेप्शन है डबल स्टैंडर्ड है थ्री आर 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 ये कौन है सर ये आर 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 फॉर रियो आर फॉर रोटा आर फॉर कोलो राडो कोलो राडो कोलो राडो हो गया R R R at least these two you should know. The commonly asked will be your Rio and Rota virus will be asked. Rio virus ke even if you forget also remember this picture. Rio bird very cop a very popular cartoon आपने देखा होगा. It's about this uh, the bird Rio bird है ना the parrot bird. उसका ऊपर दो horn बना दो बस double standard हो गया. Very simple. Rio bird का दो horn बना दो beautiful Rio bird का parrot है ना ये cartoon movie है. ओके सो दैट्स इट रियो को दो हॉन बना दो दैट्स इट इफ यू फॉरगेट आल्सो फॉर एट लीस्ट रियो यू मस्ट नो रोट आल्सो यू टू रिमेंबर रियो एंड रोटो हो गया सो नाउ लेट्स फिक्स सो सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए वायरस तो कॉमन वेरिएंट्स हो गया सो आई टोल्ड ऑल रेस्ट आल्सो डायरेक्टली सिंगल स्टैंड यू गो टू कोविड ओके नथिंग स्पेशल डबल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए स्पेशल है क्यों इसके डबल स्टैंडर्ड में अभी मैंने बोला था रोटो एंड रियो विल कम हियर सो डबल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए गोस हियर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड सिंगल तो ऑलवेज हु हमारा छोटी पारु छोटी सिंगल पारु इज दिस मोमेंट So, इसका सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड का आ गया पर वो डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए डबल दस नॉर्मल वन डीएनए का नॉर्मल है सो हैप्पी में आना चाहिए सो हैप्पी में पैपिलोमा आ गया ना पैपिलोमा इज बेसिकली एचपी ह्यूमन पैपिलोमा सो इट इज पैपिलोमा ओनली पैपिलोमा सो डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए वाला सो दिस इज द मैच वेरी सिंपल इजी यू नो सो रिमेंबर हैप्पी एंड रिमेंबर द एक्सेप्शन यू विल नेवर मेक मिस्टेक दिस वायरस इज सो इजी सो यू कॉन्ट मेक मिस्टेक नाउ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज वन यूनिक क्वेश्चन बट um the answer is bit confusing for most of them even i have to think because i don't know i got the right options or not if you have any doubt please put it in the question niche uh, youtube ke niche i'll try to uh, find the right answer because they uh, what what i heard is parvo b virus causes all and they given except okay except so before going to except let you know the you know parus kahani parus kahani to sabko pata hai aajkal which is very popular so this is a paru single single la sabse choti hai the smallest paru hai na small paru देवदस का पारू यू नो दैट पारू और पारू एंड उसका क्या था वो शी वाज सिंगल उसका बच्चा क्या अब बहुत गुस्सा करती है बच्चे को शी स्लैप्स शी स्लैप्स द बच्चे विद पांच उंगली पांच फिंगर से शी स्लैप्स सो स्लैप्स का क्या है स्लैप शी का अपीयरेंस हो गया स्लैप जी का अपीयरेंस हो गया फाइव फिंगर्स का क्या है फाइव फिंगर्स का से यू यू हैव अ फिफ्थ डे डिजीज को बोलते हैं फिफ्थ डे डिजीज फिफ्थ डिजीज फिफ्थ डे डिजीज ओके हो गया हो गया Now, ये तो स्लैप चीक का पेरेंट्स ऐसे होता है ठीक है दिस अ रैश व्हाट यू सीइंग हियर एंड उसको कॉम्प्लिकेशन वजह से क्या होगा उसको खुद जब इतने सिंगल सिंगल से जब बच्चे हुआ था उसके बच्चे को क्या हुआ था हाइड्रोप स्पिटलिस बच्चे हो गया सो सैचिको हाइड्रोप स्पिटलिस बच्चे ओके नाउ लेट्स गो एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन अ प्लास्टिक क्राइसिस ह्यूमनिटी डेफिनेटली दैट इज व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिकॉज़ इट अफेक्ट्स व्हाट बोन मैरो में parvo b19 characteristic is it affects the erythroid precursors that is rbc precursors especially if you remember p antigen it affects the p antigen 
of the RBC. The RBC is the favorite cell. RBC is favorite to with some red, red, red. Power is red, red, girl. Everything is red. RBC is red. So that's because of you get a plastic crisis in hemolytic anemic patient. Definitely in hemolytic anemic patient, man, definitely you're getting cancer. This is right answer. Correct. So pure red cell aplasia in the immunocompromised, definitely yes. In immunocompromised patient, may it causes pure, in hemolytic anemia, sickle cell anemia, it causes aplastic crisis. But in immunocompromised patients, may definitely it's causing pure red cell uh, aplasia. It's, so this is also right answer. This is also right answer. Hydrophytal is, it causes non-immune, non-immune hydrophytal. But that's right because the, they haven't mentioned immune or non-immune. No. So non-immune hydrophytal is because immune hydrophytal is, you know, immune hydrophytal is basically, it is the uh, erythro, uh, um, your uh, RH incompatibility. RH incompatibility means you have the immune one, immune hydrophytal is RH uh, immuno compatibility may okay immunocompatibility may rh immunocompatibility may immunocompatibility may okay incompat that's a different story uh erythroblastic fetalis so here hydrophytal is non immune this is also partially right and fever with the particulars this is also right because this rash what you're seeing this fifth day rash slap chick appearance that is a particular rash only that's also right so i don't know what they're expecting so please if you know the question because all the options given here correct if someone says this a plastic crisis uh, and pure have been seen only in hemolytic not in immunocompromised no it's not i refer to all the standard books even from micro book point of book also this is the right option pure itself i place immunocompromised patient may hota hai and a plastic transient a plastic crisis happens hemolytic and that is also right but exactly i don't know what exam is expecting but if, if it is exactly this happening, everything is right i'm sure they will not cut your mark for whatever you've answered or whatever okay fine so this is thing so i don't know the answer for me everything is the right answer here but if maximum if they're expecting the, you have to mark hydrophytal because not out hydrophytal so only non-immune hydrophytal is then i don't know if they are expecting this okay that's it so this is for your parvo b19 ka okay next rotavirus ka vaccine ke bari mein see i told you it's a live vaccine abhi we just told you the pehle we saw it was a uh, and you know what rotavirus ka abhi dusra question bhi aaya tha what it was a double standard rotavirus always will have a question this is a as we said it's a double standard rna virus ek cheez hai and the rotavirus most common cause of diarrhea in children diarrhea diarrhea in children children may direct most common causes rotavirus only okay don't forget that one and if you remember rotavirus ka shape ka cartwheel appearance rotate the cart and rotate the cart so cartwheel appearance we already told that you know cartwheel appearance hota hai right okay rotate the wheel rotate the cartwheel okay that's one okay one question that's one also last time i think in fmg this was a cartwheel appearance something was asked in one of the fmg recently okay now they've asked this question direct vaccine vaccine to definitely you know rotavirus the vaccine ka naam hai rotavac or rotavirus rotavac or rotavirus now both are oral live vaccine that is right this is right this is also right this is also right and this vaccine should be given up to this the question is here only the cannot be given is wrong because you can give the vaccine till eight months you can give till eight months both the vaccines are valid okay so that is what they think they want to catch you there so that is this wrong it can be given after six months so till eight months we can give available as monovalent pentavalent yes it is available monovalent and pentavalent that's what we have this rotavac and rotavirus okay so your answer should be c c should be your answer cannot be given after six months of age is a wrong answer okay so finished i hope you made this question right okay next next now uh ah, yeah look at this question a patient came with a complaint of yeah this is also another thoracic confusion question be careful fever rash retro orbital pain history of dengue hemorrhagic fever okay this is a classic symptom that's fine dengue ka rash typical retro orbital pain it's always you know uh, points towards the thing previous exams i think they gave you uh the petechial rashes platelet count less petechial rashes or this tonic with test those something related that was given this time they've given which is the best test to diagnose on fifth day since onset of fever so that is a tricky tricky question because whenever there is a dengue fever dengue fever uh what happened if it is within one week within one week uh what uh, what they send with the all the clinicians they send sample for us to do both ns1 antigen test and also igm igm ka okay igm ka elisa and ns1 elisa also both for elisa elisa only they send ns1 antigen igm antibody this is antigen and this is antibody both the tests they used to send us commonly sending this only okay now what happened uh ns1 antigen usually the, from the day first day one itself it start to uh, uh it will because it's a virus antigen in a hot eye and what happened it goes till five days till five days classically till five days will be there then it will decrease but 
it, it is still 18 days it's present. Till 18 days it's present in many cases, but not all the time. Most it comes negative. After one week, the NS1 antigen is usually coming negative only. Okay. So now exactly they've been fifth day. This is the tricky part. And IgM, what happened? IgM already start by day five itself. IgM start to increase. Increase and it remains for months. For months it remains there. Okay. So what happened? I think here the same thing would be uh, uh, if see both are right, NS1 antigen also right because till five, uh, the PCR viral culture, see, PCR viral culture and all. No, this is for uh, for epidemiological purpose, not for regular diagnosis. Itna dengue aata, you can't do PCR for every dengue patient and viral culture, viral culture, mosquito culture, I don't know, some said mosquito viral culture. This is all for only epidemiological purpose to know which it is. The treatment is dengue, aage the dengue, we don't have any antiviral drug. We are going to do symptomatic management. I'm, I'm not, uh, no, I don't think so any doctor is going to write PCR for dengue suspected cases. Okay, so it should be NS1 and IgM only. So in these two, I would really prefer IgM ELISA as the best answer. Okay, because you know, the IgM uh, as a day of five without it, five days in case, then it remains elevated all the time. Okay, but NS1 antigenosis is also not a wrong answer. NS1 antigen also can be that. So, this two are in PCR will cut. So, NS1 antigen IgM is the right answer. So, I'll find you try to find the exact answer, but I think the examiner has to correct both are right. I NS1 antigen also right, IgM capture ELISA or IgM ELISA, whatever, it should be right. Okay. So, of course, ELISA is best. Now, comparing to the CAR test, rapid test, ELISA is the best. ELISA must be done. ELISA is the best test for dengue, you can say. Okay. Antibody. And IgG also, that is IgG is after six months chronic. So, you do, you can know it's a primary, secondary infection. Kelly, we can do. Okay. So, this is the, I will go with IgM ELISA. But again, NS1 antigen is not a wrong answer. So, that only the examiners can decide and tell why, uh, particularly the last question like this. Okay. Fine. Now, next. Next, this question, of course, there was not a single exam without this topic. Abhitak, every exam saying there is a question of this. Okay. What is this? Seeing the picture. So, let's go in order. So, here some patient came with the complaint of the diarrhea. They came with a complaint of diarrhea. Diarrhea, yeah, patient. We don't know whatever patient, diarrhea, yeah. Then on the stool microscopy, the follow. I don't know if it was just the stool microscopy or acid first they have given, but they found the oocyst of 24 to 30 micron. Okay. And that the picture was this one or this one. This is, this is an acid first stain, acid first stain, but this is a direct uh, microscopy. That means they did a mount. Okay. They did a stool mount. They did a stool mount. They have done a stool, I'm sorry, stool mount. They have done mount. Okay. Iodine mount. This is more it looks like for me an iodine mount. Iodine mount karke. Normals and iodine mount. Iodine mount karke they are So it doesn't matter which picture you got, but picture is very easy. But before going to the option itself, I can tell you, Deko, ye bada hai, lamba hai. Looks like lamba, lamba. So, a lamba ko me aise thoda kya karunga? Aise karunga. I bana diya, I ko me oval bana diya. I for isospora. I for isospora. Okay. Yeta. But I know what was the confusion. Exam me, they would have given the cysto isospora. Apka sare CC ho gaya. So, you must have confused for surely. But if you are clear about this I isospora, you would have not made mistake. Okay, we'll discuss all the difference. Abhi todi de rime. But remember, nowadays isospora has changed to cysto isospora only. They started calling it cysto isospora. Isospora ka naam abhi kam ho gaya. More it's called cysto isospora. So next time say, please remember cysto ke saath add karna padta hai. Abhi so abhi teen ho, cc, cc ho gaya. 3c ho gaya. Okay, now what are the common features? Thik hai, 24 to 30 micron is ka. Thik hai, now before coming to the, uh, the answer is cysto isospora. You guys know that I don't need explanation. But let's revise again a little bit shortly if you've forgotten the things. Okay, so, so, so. There are three organisms. What are the three? Cryptosporidium, not cryptococcus. It is cryptosporidium, but don't HIV me common. Hai. Okay. Crypto, cyclospora, cyclospora. And then this is iso, cysto isos, isospora. I'll, I'll write isospora for a while. Later on, you can add this cysto isospora. Cysto isospora. Okay, right. All the three common features, all the three, they all are called acid fast parasite. Acid fast parasite. Okay. Acid first parasite means you know that we are using 1% H2SO4. 1% H2SO4 
H2SO4 or we do what? Quinion staining or we do cold staining or quinone staining. Quinone also it's fine, okay? Quinone is a cold staining. That is same only. So, but here, whatever it is, acid first staining may be using 1% H2SO4 acid first staining. And what is the other common feature? They all cause diarrhea in diarrhea, diarrhea, diarrhea in immunocompromised patient, HIV patient or immunocompromised patient. Though cryptosporidium is the most common cause, but diarrhea in immunocompromised patient. This is the common feature. Oh, yeah. Look at the shape. C ko, you put it round, round shape. Isko bhi C ko round karo. I ko abhi C hai confusion, but still remember I. I ko thoda tilt karo. It will become I ko kaise aise karo. So that becomes oval shaped. Oval shape with two nucleus inside. You can see this, this is the O cyst. I'm talking about the O cyst ka shape. O cyst ka shape, it is round, round. Dono mein round, 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 round. Okay. Cyclospor also round. This is also round and this is oval with two, you can see two cysts inside, okay, two cysts inside, two ova. Okay, this is cyst difference. Next, what are the differences? Now, another important is size. Size matters. Size matters. Where the size matters? Based on size, only will differentiate, okay? So, size here is very simple. How much it is? Four to six micron. Four to six micron. Okay, four. Let's keep four. Here, eight to twelve. Thoda bada hai. Eight. 4 into 2, 8. 8 okay. Okay, 12. 8 to 12 micro. So, isko, you're doubling everything. So, isko bhi either double karo. Make it 24 to 30. 24 to 30 micro. 24 to 30 micro. A bhi another clue. If you see that question, previous question, they've given 30, nearly 30. So, that was bigger one, biggest isospora. Isospora. Okay. Now, another feature, which is, you can get differentiate, is autofluorescence. Autofluorescence, cryptosporidium ka nahi hai. I'll come away in there's not a presence. Cycloisosporum, you have autofluorescence. Both the spora, spora. Anna? I always remember like this spora. The spora, the spora friends, they shine. The spora friends, they shine. They shine. They florence. You know, shine. Karna. They're very good in shining. Okay, that's what. Now, what is left out? The treatment. Treatment, ka wajase, you should know the when you do the club, when you do the when stool, when you get these things, you why you have to so you can directly write acid first kar rahe ho, just write acid for parasite ho jata hai because everything in diarrhea only, everything causing in HIV only treatment different because crypto may cryptocurrency hai, cryptocurrency hai. So cryptocurrency kis ke pass hota hai, amara nita ambani ke pass hi hota hai, ambani se nita ambani ke pass hi jada hota hai, amara crypt ya cryptocurrency nita ambani. So the drug of choice is. Nitaxonide, nitaxonide, okay, nitaxonide, okay, nitaxonide, nitoxonide, nitoxonide, okay, my, I think my spelling is a bit mistake, but that was nita, but nita ambani. So nita ambani ko autofluorescence nahi hai, makeup ke baati fluorescence hai, normally usko fluorescence nahi hai, she is very dull, see, bitna makeup daane ke baati usko face uh, chamak raha hai, otherwise autofluorescence to usko nahi hai, so remember cryptocurrency, crypto nita ambani nitoxonide, nita ko fluorescence nahi hai, uska life mein color nahi hai, makeup ki baat hi hota hai, autofluorescence nahi hai usko, okay, remember, you have to remember like that, okay, you, it, it, it will be fun, ye to ono very simple, crypto cycloisophora ko, your treatment is cotrimoxazole, cotrimoxazole, Cot abhi ta ku change nahi hai, thank god cotrimoxazole, cotrimoxazole, okay, that's it, so this is the treatment. Yeah, yeah. So every year you have a question on this. So please remember the size, shape, autofluorescence property and they go all the three are acid first and diarrhea specific. and nitoxonide, cortimoxol, cortimoxol. This is the question. Definite FMG and need PG upcoming exam. So please be careful. Okay. Next very important question. Also, it just made me so happy. They asked this question after so many years. Okay. So which is the best for malaria speciation? Malaria speciation. That means you know malaria species method of <coughs> malaria ka cost division kya hai? Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, falciparum, hai na? Malaria ka falciparum. And then we have Plasmodium. Uh, what else we have? Vivax, falciparum, ovale and also malaria and novelcy also. But this common over whatever it is, these are the species. So usko speciation karne ke liye, what you need? To check whether, to check there, what, what, to check whether it is uh, vivax ka gametocyte hai, or it is a trophozoite, or the usme early or late trophozoite, shejon, ye pura differentiate karne ke liye, which is the best smear, that's what they have asked, okay. Deko niche picture, ye thick smear, thick smear means, a blood drop ko aise dal ke, you leave it to dry, it's a thick, 
थिन में क्या करते हैं यू पुट ड्रॉप ऑफ ब्लड एंड यू विल मूव इट ओके ऐसे ना यू विल यू पुट स्लाइड एंड स्लाइड यू जस्ट ग्रेस अपॉन इट ओके यू जस्ट पुश इट लाइक दिस सो क्या होता है थिन हो जाता यू गेट अन स्मेयर तो थिक्स में थिन स्मेयर थिन स्मेयर में क्या होता है बिकॉज इट इज थिन उसके बाद यूल डू जिम्सा स्टेन है ना यूल डू जिम्सा स्टेन जिम्सा मीन बेसिकली रोमन ऑफ की स्टेन में टॉक अब रोमन ऑफ की रोमन ऑफ की स्टेन में आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कॉल द थिंग्स रोमन सिंह भट्टाचार्य ब्राइट स्टेन वी हैव लिस्मन स्टेन ऑल्सो कुछ भी करते यू शुड यू जिम्सा स्टेन कर दे जिम्सा करने के बाद होता है बिकॉज इट्स इवन आप सेपरेटली सेल्स को डिफ्रेंशिएट करते हो आरबीसी को मोनोसाइट को आमर पैरासाइट अंदर कौन से पैरासाइट क्लियरली यू कैन सी इन द कुछ कुछ डॉट स्टार्ट ऐसे ऐसे देखता है इसी से आप क्या कर स्पीशियस यू कॉन्ट आइडेंटिफाई बट यू कैन डू वॉट काउंट यू कैन काउंट कितना डॉट है कितना जस्ट ओनली कॉन्ट यू कॉन्ट स्पीशियस जस्ट काउंट amount of parasite so that is for quantity quantification quantification so quantification ke liye thick smear so thin so quantity buffet coat bhi ga pata hai it's a buffet coat isme you are using this acrylic orange wara use karke you know you you check the count only so quantity naam pe aage quantity so this is out this is not for speciating and acrylic orange with thin smear ye kar sakte ho but you know this is i never heard any lab mein itna kharcha expensive acrylic dal ke thin smear bana ke karta it's too expensive you know that right because there's a fluorescent stain itna aaram asphalt nahi mil jayega i'm sure even the best of the best hospitals to save money they're not going to use it so this is totally use which possible but it's not best so either jimsa ka thick or thin so you know always microscopy is the gold standard abhi tak for malaria ke liye the best the best or gold standard method is microscopy microscopy mein speciation ke liye what you do you use thin smear jimsa ka thin smear okay now iska uh jimsa ka thick smear is for quantification so remember the thick smear for quantification thin smear for inclusion so if you have marked jimsa thin smear excellent the next sense of bol nahi bol jana iska short ka zaruri nahi hai thin hai to smear thin hota hai thin hai to aapka blood hc se spread hota hai blood hc se spread ho gaya to you can differentiate rbc wbc parasite everything clearly but thick hoga to सब कोलैप्स हो जाता है उसमें स्पीशीज का यू काउंट विद स्पीशीज व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन काउंट कितना पैरासाइट है काउंट करके यू कैन गिव द काउंट दिस इज अ पैरासाइटीमिया दिस इज देयर इज अ इंडेक्स डिफरेंट इंडेक्स फॉर काउंटिंग द मलेरिया ऑन दैट्स इट दिस इज व्हाई ओके या नेक्स्ट हो गया नाउ दिस इज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दिस आर द क्वेश्चंस यू कैन डेफिनेटली मेक मिस्टेक आई वुड आई वुड नॉट से यू नो दैट्स योर मिस्टेक ओके दिस दिस इज अ बिट कंफ्यूजिंग क्वेश्चन हियर द which organism transmitted to blood component okay blood component so blood component matlab in blood ke andar kya hai we have plasma then plasma ke andar we have cell ko cell mein you have rbcs we have wbcs we have platelet <coughs> everything is there okay so abhi agar so uh, generally through the blood transfusion through the blood transfusion karne mein what are the infections can spread usually when you talk about viruses you know very common it is the hbv hcv and your hiv most common viruses which can there many but these are the common ones if you talk about bacteria to any bacteria can go because we are uh, not even going to talk about specially one thing is syphilis ka syphilis ka we are going to be very careful with the syphilis specially that's what we are doing vdr test always for pregnant ladies and all so even for blood blood transfusion time maybe syphilis ka syphilis one of the thing that can be do there are other things also there's borrelia there are so many other blood infections also which can go but usually the most common one is syphilis in you know, bacteria mein parasite mein the most common would be your malaria malaria plasmodia most common apart from that of course your toxoplasma of course your leishmania leishmania of course your trypanosoma 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 these are the blood parasite we call okay ho gaya now look at this question which are the transmit to the blood so malaria aa sakta hai yes possible filaria no filaria to it's a lymphatic no it's a filaria is elephantiasis brugia malai those things are not spreading to those things spreading to mosquitoes not just you know like a, a direct blood blood say no it's not like that it is not the rare possibility but it's not it's not documented i mean I, i'm sure it's not spreading like that okay so let's chance toxoplasma possible syphilis possible okay now malaria me you know malaria me the rbc the, the, the parasite resides in the rbc RBC के अंदर ही आप देख सकते हो दिस पैरासाइट नो यू कैन सी ऑल द कैम्पोसाइट मे दिस थिंग मेरो आरबीसी 
most in the RBC. Sometimes, yeah, but WB gives me you you could you don't see it inside that thing and all. And it's not possible just it goes in the plasma and attack. No, it can't. To survive, it needs RBC. Definitely it needs RBC. So other things of plus minus, it's not. So no, I don't think so. All the component will come here. So out, not malaria. Okay, not all component will not come. Toxoplasma. What about toxoplasma? Toxoplasma may again toxoplasma may. Uh, usually it's a WBC. Usually it's WBC cell factor. Not all other components. It's, if you go and see, if you, it's mostly it's intracellular and it's WBC mostly. And uh, RBC also it's documented as there, but they're not all, not at least not the platelet with component also. It's not possible. Toxoplasma also not possible. Out. But one thing for sure is syphilis. Syphilis, ka, syphilis is a bacteria and it's live in the whole blood meat remains. Blood meat, ka, it can be any, it could be your sera part or your plasma you're taking or the whole blood, whatever. It doesn't need cell and all. Oh, it is just having fun in the blood only. Any liquid, like, uh, you know, uh, it's a sexual transmitted disease. So everywhere, in the semen, or just as a gentle discharge, everywhere it is there. So the ideal, the most uh, closest answer would be syphilis. Okay, syphilis. I would go with the syphilis. This question, I'll, I'll mark syphilis one day. Okay, right. So it's easy. So this is one of the questions. That's what we always do, BDR will test. Okay, yes. Now next, match this following. Another very interesting question here. Uh, very simple. You, you will not make a mistake here. Easy. So which test for which disease? So your patch test, KOH mount, biopsy, and slit skin smear. First, let's talk from microbiological point of view. Microbiological point of view, KOH mount. You know, KOH mount is always for fungal, fungus. Fungus aata hai, usko karne, you put it into KOH, KOH dissolves all the solid material like nail, gill, skin cut, dis dissolve karta hai. Then you can see the skin into very easily. So, usme, okay. so it's a fungus. Fungus ke liye, any skin or nail infections ke liye, you do. So, fungal is me kya hai? Leprosy, no. Lupus, no. Contact with, no. Tinea, yes. Tinea corporis, tinea, uh, you so many tinea corp, tinea capitis, tinea ungium, so many tinea sir. So, KOH mount is for tinea, fungal. Okay. Dusra slit skin smear. Slit skin smear, you so this is a slit skin smear. What you do, you press the ear tightly and then you take a scalpel, cut that uh, whichever the spot you're thinking of a leprosy, mainly you take the ear lobe mainly. You take a deep tissue, cut a deep tissue, take the tissue and then you scrap here, make a smear and then you do acid first staining in order to check what? Leprosy. So slit skin smear is for leprosy. Like sang smear, sang smear is for the herpes and varicose zoster. Slit skin smear is for leprosy okay you take from six sites different sites you will in derma so you know that one okay different uh the nasal ear uh, back of the neck all these places okay that's one thing and then next is your uh now patch test patch test though you know all the patching tests you do for any dermatitis this no need it's not a microbiotic dermatitis lupus vulgaris again you know you only thing is that to check this you do the biopsy Perhaps into it. So this is the answer. So simple. Okay. So this question, you I'm sure you not made mistake. I would be glad that if you not made mistake. Okay. Fine. Next. Now assertion reason. You should say which is true, which is false. No. This also I saw is very easy. Please, I know that uh, if you made mistake, doesn't matter. Don't worry. You will come in the upper upper in the upcoming exam. You will get a micro. At least I guarantee you get all hundred out of hundred in micro. Okay. Yes. Now. The question is like this, late trophozoite and chejon are not seen in the peripheral blood of uh, plasmodium. Yes, definitely. In falciparum, only in falciparum, these two stages you don't see. In falciparum, you will see which stages? Early, early trophozoite, that's the ring stage, no? Trophozoite, multiple rings you saw, acole, multiple ring, OST, that's early trophozoite. Those are gametes, banana shape. Gametocyte concept, we say banana crescent shaped gametocyte. But you don't see, but you don't see banana crescent shaped male and female gametocyte. But you don't see late of the joint is not seen. That is correct. This is a true statement. Okay, true. Answer is the late trophozyte and she joint, they, they undergo cyto adherence to capillary endothelium. Yes. Oh, liver can the cell can the koi endothelium hota hai, uske, it goes attached to it and doesn't come out. So that's the right answer. So both are correct. Why we don't have late trophozoite seizure on the peripheral, but the, that when you check in the smear for falciparum, you will not see this thing. You will see only gametocyte, banana shape crescent, or you will see the early trophozoite multiple ring stage form. Okay, that I'm not going now. That again, they will come in a revision and make clear there. Okay, there. So, uska, right. So, both are right. So, this question may be asked in upcoming FMG also. So, FMG student, please be careful. Need PG also that they can ask in different format. So, so both are true, true. Okay, right. Next question. 
my which is this is on all like really chocolatey question you know even without if you've not prepared also you could have got it myocarditis is most common complication of partial diphtheria yes you know diphtheria hota hai diphtheria usually affects the pseudo membrane throat mein partial means it's in the throat pharynx mein so it causes pseudo membrane so pseudo membrane itself is because of a toxin only it's because of the diphtheria toxin or toxin kya cause karta hai it will affect the pseudo membrane from there the toxin release it spreads to all the part and affects your heart your affects the kidney there's not a single organ left out brain everywhere it goes but myocarditis is very common okay due to the bacteremia of carbidia that's it first occurs right Bacteremia is there in COVID? No, not at all. There is only toxinemia. Toxinemia is there. We in my in diphtheria, we are checking for a toxin only. Though we do culture for bacteria growth also, but bacteria directly doesn't cause. Only throat may bacteria, only in throat may this bacteria affects the throat and it causes this sodium, etc. From there, the toxin release. That will go and affect all your body. Toxinemia is the main thing. That's to that's what, what we do to treat this. The first treatment is what you give anti-sera, anti-diphtheritic sera we give. Anti-diphtheritic sera. So this is again uh, when you talk toxinemia, which other things you're remembering? You also remember tetanus and botulinum. Tetanus and botulinum also toxinemia. Botulinum. Botulinum is dono maybe toxin as a main role. So that's what you give anti-sera, anti-tetanus, anti-botulinum you give. Okay, don't forget. Rabies also we give anti-sera, if you remember, that's just one thing. Okay, so this is a wrong, it's a false statement. This is due to toxinemia, not bacteremia. Okay, so this you have to remember, one important uh, thing. Good, this I'm sure you made correct. Next question, yeah, this is tricky and I'm sure you guys must have confused and made mistakes. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, they were a little bit deeper, they asked, okay. Processing the sputum with N acetylcysteine and NaOH for microTB culture is needed. Yes, definitely you have to do. You have to do it. Why? Because when the patient gives a sputum, sputum though it's not a sterile, no, it is coming through saliva and all. So it's kya hota hai? you have saliva and plus you have this bacteria, commensal bacteria will be there in the sputum. So uske liye before before processing for uh, before doing culture or aapko culture in the LJ media or back text me karna, okay, automated kitna zorot nahi, but still be LJ culture and also for your acid for stain, ye dono cheese ke liye, acid for stain karne ke liye, you need to what? You have to process the sputum. Uska kya method hai? Petrov's method. Petrov's, next time aapko directly ye question, what is Petrov's method se question aa sakta hai, please be careful. Peter ka TB hai, Peter ko TB hai, Petrov, Petrov ko TB, right. Petrov mein kya use karta hai? You will be using the NALK solution. NALK is basically this N-acetylcysteine. N-A-L-K is NALK. N-acetylcysteine. Dusra hai, what else you use? You will be using the N-A-O-H, sodium hydroxide. Ye dono use karna padega. So uska use kya hai? TK sir. Okay, first is right. Look at the next one. Before that, I'll, I'll explain this and we'll go there. Yeah. Now, NALK se kya hota hai? NALK mein ek YEL hai. Dekho, YEL is a shortcut for you. YEL is the system, you know, that is the anti, uh, when you have parasmal poisoning, you give that one. Uh, that is from the uh, forensic. But here, poisoning comes. Now, here, NALK here is used to liquefy, liquefy the sputum. Liquefy the sputum. Matha, sputum mein mene bola, ye saliva gileva hai, which abstracts the, uh, um, this uh, acid was basically like TB, ka, TB, microbiota TB ko, it, it just it hides everything. So you make it liquefy it so that the culture ke liye achcha hoote, staining ke liye achcha hoote. So alpha liquefication, NaOH, you know, sodium hydroxide definitely is one of the what? Bacteria killing, especially it kills the commensal bacteria. Mouth mein hota hai na, commensal bacteria. It kills the commensal bacteria. So, uska se we get what a clear sputum sample. Us clear sputum sample se we can put in LJ media, lower sentence and media culture a jata hai. Phir stain bhi asura achata hai. So, right. So, but, dekho, N-acetyl system kills. Eh, kar bada ho gaya na, it doesn't, it, it kills nahi hai. N-acetyl system will liquefy, L ana chahi, eh, idhar ana chahi. N-O-H kya karta hai? Normal flora ka kill karta hai, ulta de diya. So, this is a false statement. So, I'm sure you guys remember this, okay? Petrov's method hai, um, uh, NALK and N-O-H we are using, and then this is the way how it works, okay? Got it? Bas. Assassin true me, this also we may write it, otherwise it won't be, no problem. It, this, your, you will do it next time. Another question was a very, very, very easy question. This is, I, I would say this is a MBBS first year say you must be knowing this answer. So now patient had a history of trauma. He was injured. The rusted metal, you know that anywhere you fell in the metal, rusted metal, even your grandmother will say what? Your grandmother will say, better take a TT injection, TT, right? 
you, you don't lie. Right? Anybody will say that. Everyone knows that. Even uneducated person will say when you TT. So this is a clue mil gaya. And the mode of action was spastic palace. Spastic palace means C. This is what tetanus. No, we are talking about tetanus here. So tetanus may close to your tetanus. Tetanus. You know what has happened. The, the two, the important, the trismus. Trismus means the, the face becomes in a very tight trismus. And rhizos sardonicus. They call rhizos sardonicus. The face becomes like a devil. Sardonicus. Na? Like this, like mm, spasm. Hota hai na? That one. Rhizos sardonicus comes. Trismus and the sardonicus. Okay. Fine. So, it's a mechanism. Kya hai? So, the toxin ka naam, you know, that is a tetano. Tetano. Spasmin. Tetano. Spasmin. Naam hai spasmin. So, tetano. Spasmin. Everything. Ese hora to tetanus mein. That means what? Activity is more. Inhibition is less. So, is the inhibition less matlab kya hai? Your inhibitor mediators must be inhibited. So, stimulatory mediators should be increased. So, in that case, this is what is what is inhibitor mediators? GABA and glycine inhibitor mediators. So, what your uh, tetanus toxin do? Wo inhibitory ko inhibit karta hai. So, stimulatory will go high. So, answer is very simple inhibition of GABA. So, that is the answer. I'm sure you made it right. If you're not, then also please don't worry. The more revision. Um, even get delay doesn't matter. You will get best track and best seats. Okay, no doubt in it. Yeah, inhibition of acetylcholine hogi up close to botulism ka. This for close to botulinum ka. That's what you have. What there? There you have placid paralysis. There's your placid paralysis. Placid paralysis here hogi up plastic paralysis. Okay, and norepinephrine. We don't have any link with this. Okay, inhibition of GABA and glycine is the answer. You got it. Okay, now next. Another question many of them are asking is, sir, how to disinfect the tips of microbit and big confusion. And people were saying that, uh, sir, ethanol, boldra hai, ye boldra. No, no, not at all. See, first of all, no. Tip of the micropipette is this one. Okay, this, sir. Ye, ye, this is micropipette. This is micropipette. Eh? Yes, if to uh, take the solution, from, I'll tell you what. Micropipette. Eh? Ye tip, tip of the micropipette. Tip of the micro pipette is always plastic. Always may in my experience in the last 10 years, either in a private big upper hospital or maybe Saptajang hospital or ESA hospital, any big hospital. I've never seen any non-plastic tips. I haven't seen any metal or plastics, never. It's not used because it's risky to use. So you see, micro pipette is very tedious. Micro pipette, you see you in the end. You know, the air tip pen, you will put it here. You say what what you do? You do all important the ELISA test, PCR test, a pura pisme karte ho. It means imagine how tedious. A contamination ho jayega to aapka test pura karab ho jata hai. Sare COVID was running because of the tip of tip of micro pipette only. Imagine that. So uska matlab kya? It's such a tedious and very important to sterilize it. So itna bada important procedure will you do ethanol 70 percentage and sterilize? Impossible. That is a blender. You can't do that. Close it. Ye micro ethanol se kya kar? So micro pipette ko saap kar sakte ho. Because upar wala parts and other. It can dirty so utka clean kar sakte ho. Okay. That will no one will ask that question. Micro pipette ko upar wala surface you can clean it. The main micro tip which is going into buffer solution, your plasma and your other agents ki chata hai. That should be super sterile. Ek bar use karo, throw it. Throw it means you, you, you discard it. So before using... Before and after, before and after, how you have to sterilize it and use. During use, may you use and then after sterilizing, discard it. So, before how to do plastic co microwave, to forget microwave in microbes, be useless. It is for some surgical instrument, instrument, Kelly, you can use, not for tips of micro pipette. Yeah, close, core, band, core. no, no use. Hot air oven, use your brain. It's a plastic. Hot air oven, me dal me kya hoga. You take a pan, you put a plastic micro pipette on your pan and see what will happen. It will burn and melt. So you can't. So the only way the best, 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 our hero of sterilization is always autoclave. So any recyclable plastic uh, things you do is autoclave only. In fact, it's a discard. Kahan karte? So before use, you do autoclave. Autoclave karo. Autoclave karne ke baad, iska use karne ke koon se bag mein dolly ke red bag, all the disposable plastics, red bag, red bag, red bag, don't forget red bag mein jayega. Okay, in between COVID mein everything went into yellow bag, that's not a story, but ideally it has to red bag only. After that, red bag dalne ke baad, you have to dispose it. So disposal kaise karo ke, you will not just simply throw it like that. You have to again autoclave it, autoclave karke, phir usko 
पर्टिकुलर बैग में डाल के यू सेंड इट फॉर द रिसाइकलिंग पर्पसेस यू नो बिल्डिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रोड मेकिंग श्रेडिंग प्रोसीजर का भेजना है सो इधर वे इट इज ऑटो क्लेव ओनली सो डू मार्क ऑटो क्लेव ओनली ओके डोंट मेक मिस्टेक हियर मेनी आर सेइंग एथेनॉल 70% सम टोल्ड सेड दिस आल्सो आई एम गारंटीइंग यू नो वी नो दैट वी आर इन इंफेक्शन कंट्रोल एंड इट हैज टू आइडियली बी क्लीन डिसइंफेक्टेड विद Out of the only. If there is some other way, the question is asked. If some other explaining, I don't know about it. But if they are talking about tedious procedure like LSI, PCR, or definitely it has to be article before use and after use. Otherwise, useless. Take pura, apko karab ho jata hai. Okay, got it. So I think now you will not have this confusion. Next time you expect a question where you will discard the tips of micro paper, red bag. Don't forget red bag. All the recyclable plastic will go in a red bag. Okay, got it. Yes. Now this is so funny and how this question. Thank God they asked this question after so many years. I think in my PG time, uh, it came or what I don't know. And after that, I didn't see this question. Okay, anti-leprosy drug, skin hyperpigmentation. So anti-leprosy drug. So, आपको पता है how to treat. There are two types you classify into. One is your pousy, another one is your multi-basilary. Ah, pousy basilary, multi-basilary. If it is pousy basilary, what are the drugs you are going to giving? You are going to give rifampicin plus dapsone. Bus. मल्टीपिसले तो रिफाम्पसिन प्लस डापसोन प्लस क्लोफासमिन तीन तीन ड्रग यू आर गिविंग ओके तीन ड्रग यू आर गिविंग दिस इज फॉर 6 मंथ यू विल बी गिविंग एंड देन फॉर 1 ईयर यू विल बी गिविंग लेटर ऑन उसका रिस्पोंड आफ्टर कंटिन्यूएशन एंड ऑल दैट्स डिफरेंट स्टोरी वी नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर सो हो गया ये सो ऑल द ड्रग्स आर राइट एंटी लेप्रोसी में रिफाम्पसिन क्लोफासमिन डापसोन ऑल आर राइट ओप्लोक्सिसिन प्लस में नॉट दैट दिस थिंग इंपोर्टेंट गया ओके लेवेट सो हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन दैट इज अ फार्मा क्वेश्चन मोरली बट आपको याद नहीं आ रहा आई पुटेड दिस पिक्चर स्पेशली रिमेंबर क्लोफासमिन इज नथिंग बट अ क्लोन 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 तो पता है बर्थडे पर्टिकुलर में डांस करते हैं सो क्लोन इज क्लोफासमिन फॉर मी क्लोफासमिन आई रिमेंबर एज अ क्लोन और क्लोन क्या करता है देखो इसका फेस पूरा पिगमेंट डालता है ना तो पिगमेंटेशन आ जाएगा तो आपको ऑटोमेटिकली क्या आना चाहिए व्हेन यू हैव सीन दिस हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन क्वेश्चन यू शुड हैव बीन जंपिंग फ्रॉम स्काई टू बॉटम बिकॉज़ आंसर इज क्लोफास आई मीन बीइंग माइक्रो बच्चा आई यू नो व्हाट डज इट मैटर एनीबॉडी यू नो शुड रिमेंबर सो स्किन हाइपर पिगमेंट सो क्लोफास आई मीन ये तो सबसे इजीएस्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन मिस से रिफाम्पसिन को आ गया होगा सो लॉन्ग टर्म इट गेट इसको इफ दे गिव यू नो ऑरेंज कलर यूरिन ऑरेंज और येलो कलर यूरिन वो उसका साइड इफेक्ट है रिफाम्पसिन ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट क्वेश्चन सो बेटर नो दैट आल्सो सो क्लोफासमिन डापसोन का मल्टीपल इफेक्ट इतना दे डोंट नो एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिकली दे आर्स मल्टीपल साइड इफेक्ट्स देयर बट क्लोफासमिन इसका पिगमेंटेशन विल हैपन दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट ओके गॉट इट फाइन नाउ नेक्स्ट वन नाउ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन दिस आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट वी आर कमिंग टू द एंड नाउ a uh, drug of choice for enterococcus infective endocarditis yeah infective endocarditis and here the question is basically regarding infective endocarditis enterococcus is the new hero abhi aajkal bahut popular hone wala hai jaldi ye staphylococcus se zyada popular ho jayega in gram positive coffee mein one of the most common cause of causing uti hai endocarditis endocarditis mein ye cheez bhi aapko pata hona chahiye right heart or left heart left heart left heart infective endocarditis because of the right heart mein kya aata hai staphylococcus aureus aata hai right heart infective endocarditis can be your medicine question so uske alawa it can cause abscess different type of abscess sti infection every infection enter is becoming popular now theek hai hamara question idhar kya hai उसका इन्फेक्ट नो करे सर इफ द पेशेंट एलर्जिक टू पेनिसिलिन ठीक है पेनिसिलिन तो वैसे आजकल इट्स नॉट वर्किंग ओनली फॉर एंट्रोकोकस सो मोस्टली इट्स कमिंग रेजिस्टेंट ओनली पेनिसिलिन के सारे बीटा लैक्टम्स आर कमिंग रेजिस्टेंट नाउ डेज सो व्हेन यू से पेनिसिलिन दैट मींस इट इज बीटा लैक्टम इफ इट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू बीटा लैक्टम मतलब अंडर बीटा लैक्टम मीन यू हैव पेनिसिलिन अंडर बीटा लैक्टम यू हैव सेफालोस्पोरिन अंडर दिस यू हैव सॉरी एक्सक्यूज मी एस्ट्रियोनम दे ऑल आर बीटा लैक्टम ड्रग्स ओनली okay they are beta lactams so a the if penicillin is not working then definitely piperacillin also type of penicillin you know modified uh, penicillin may. it will not work astrium also will not work cephalosporin also not work so kon kaam karta hai only your vancomycin a bhi aajkal is getting lot of resistance for vancomycin also so next time in the option mein lenizolid de to that is also right lenizolid if that is not working you are going to go for a Alleni sorry. Actually, what happened? Vancomycin resistance also popular. If vancomycin also get res resistant, so the treatment is. जब किसी को vancomycin resistance आता है, उसको क्या देना है? Dal दे दो काने के लिए. Dal dal दे दो काने. Bari patient को dal दे दो. D for daptomycin. Daptomycin. L for lenizolid. A drug of choice. Lenizolid. A question भी आपको आ जाएगा, आ जाएगा, आ जाएगा. Definitely in your next exam you can get it.
वीआर है तो ये लो एमआरएसी आ जाएगा तो क्या देखना टीवी देखना है वहां पर द इफ फॉर एमआरएसी मेडिसिन रेसिडेंट स्टाफ लोगों को ऑरियस का ट्रीटमेंट क्या देना है यू गेट एमआरएसी यू सी व्हाट यू सी टीवी यू सी प्लग यू सी टीवी टीवी इज द टीवी इज द मेन थिंग यू राइट इट यू व्हेन यू गेट टीवी यू शट अप एंड सी द टीवी ओके सी द टीवी सी द टीवी सो इसका मतलब द मेन ड्रग टी फॉर टिकोप्लानिन टिकोप्लानिन and b for your vancomycin and c for cephalosporin ka fifth generation drug cephalosporin ka fifth generation drug shortcut okay this are expected next time need pg or your fmg ka questions okay that's it so now we have done and i'm sure i'm glad that you guys enjoyed this session if you have made mistake and you feel regret no regret please no regret exams are coming again and again only thing is that you have to know the style and make so micro is again one easy subject more revisions coming soon be ready and now for now we just relax uh, and see whatever the mistakes may rectify it and go through topics and be happy micro you leave it to me okay all the best once again uh, guys do well catch you in another session soon